What's up everybody, it's Easy. Last day of 2017. New Year's Eve. This fight here is an attack by nerve damage. This is the first time she's ever attacked the Town Hall 10 with the Inferno Towers. I thought this was a great point to make right after the Winter Update 2017. Nothing's really changed on this base, especially with the, with the single target Inferno. Yes, the multi-target, they can use the heal spells. But there has been one thing that's changed a lot, and that's how she views these bases. And I think that the way she looks at them is very similar to the way a lot of players look at them. The player Town Hall 9s that were too afraid to attack Town Hall 10s because they just got beat up by them so badly. And I, myself included, I, I guess when I was a Town Hall 9 and I first made the transition to Town Hall 10, even the multi infernos, even though they didn't do that much damage, they, you know, the Town Hall 10s did a real good job of setting up their base to where the traps were all around the multi, and you, you get pummeled as soon as you go near them. So time and time again, I would get beat up pretty bad, and it made it made a lot of players not want to go to Town Hall 10 to stay away from bases that have inferno towers. When farming, it was a no-brainer. She would just pass by the base regardless of how much loot was on it. She passed it right by if it had Inferno Towers. Uh, it took a little while to get, it took a little while to attack bases that had level three crossbows as well, and those got a little nerf too. So now there, there's a level of comfortability. Now, not the you know didn't didn't get a hundred percent, still a good score. But I I want to show this not because of what she achieved on the attack physically, it's what she achieved on the attack mentally. And she's now overcome this fear of the Town Hall 10s, and I think that's what Supercell wanted from all their players. That's why they did this to, to, to the Inferno Towers to begin with. So, breaking off that, there's true love on the screen here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my true love now. Get away from her. So, number one attack. If you want to know what the number one attack is in Clash, look at the top 100. And also consider this too, though. Top 100 players, a lot of them use ring bases in Town Hall 11. This is not a this is not a lightly upgraded base that Flex is attacking right here too. This is a, this is a hefty base. So the, a lot of your top bases, they, they know how to build these bases. They may look simple, they may look just like an island or a ring base, but they have all these pitfalls set up in them. And what they have found is that the, the, the Bowler Valk is super effective. They don't lose trophies, which of course that's the whole goal. Uh, and uh, another thing is, and this is something that you got to consider too, because I know a lot of a lot of people immediately think, well, this is the strongest attack there is. All the top players are using it, but think about it like this: they are done upgrading their heroes most of the time, except for right after the update. So they are going to use all dark elixir. They're going to use all their because there's no use for it. So they use all their dark elixir uh, troops. Dark Elixir troops are also have a tendency to be stronger than the regular Elixir troops anyway. Maybe the miners are the exception. I, I don't know. But arguably the Dark Elixir is stronger. So so at the top of Clash of Clans, it, most of your players were using Bowler Valks. Now you do have a number of players that just favor air. And because the, the Laloon is still... I think, it, I think the way Supercell has it... They love that attack. It's never going to go away. It's going to be one of the top attacks until there is another troop introduced that they love even more than the Laloon. Maybe the battle, uh, the flying machine will come into play or something like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, the idea behind, behind the Bowler Valk, it's, it's pretty simple, although it's not easy to execute. Uh, and again, here's a good look at the, the multi-target Infernos. Didn't really do too much to these bowlers. They just kind of smashed right through it. Although I don't see uh, 10 or 15, <laughs> 10 or 15, <laughs> I don't see all the giant bombs blasted away in the in the core. I, and I didn't see a lot of tombstones to start the raid, although I do see some up top now. So this base may have already been hit once, and that's why the, none of the giant bombs went off. It may have been it may have been full of giant bombs in the core right around the uh, multi inferno towers. Anyway, the idea of this attack is you'll start off with the queen walk. You put the queen and the warden in together. 
and now if you're new to Town Hall 11 you're gonna try to put the king in with them don't because what will happen is the king will go off in his own direction and then the healers may end up following him remember the warden is not going to go off on his own it is specifically designed to follow the queen so you keep him and the queen together you put the, the healers on the queen the healers will stay on the queen the healers will actually alternate back and forth between the, the queen and uh, the warden sometimes very efficiently unless I'm the actual one attacking then it's not very efficient <laughs> Uh, so yeah keep the king away and the idea is to, to get into the base using the the archer queen and as soon as she's inside the, the first layer of walls you want to send in the you want to send in the bowlers with her so now you'll have the archer queen the warden the healers a lot of people will send in the clan castle troops too you have to watch that's the, the troop count because you don't want to set off the eagle artillery too early uh, I'm, I'm personally one that you see reflex attack from the top left of the screen here I would have attacked from the dead center right because I'm going after the Eagle artillery immediately every single attack that's in there He doesn't worry about that. So um, anyway Goal is now you're gonna clear out as much as you can now look how deep he's actually got He actually went pretty deep with just the archer queen and just the warden which this is just a lot of value for the archer queen so now on the top of the screen, he looks like he put in the clan castle. I have some expert editing up top where you can't really see a damn thing. But the bowlers are coming down through the top. Looks like he's going to put a jump spell in up top. Get the bowlers to come down. No, he's not going to put the jump spell in because he needs that for the Valkyries. Okay, there goes the jump spell. Uh, so anyway, back to my trying to keep my same train of thought, which is nearly impossible for me. Uh, so you want to clear out a whole side of the base with the bowlers and, and the queen and the warden and the healers clear out the whole side and then you'll put the jump spell on the core and then you instead of bringing in the, the Valkyries on the opposite side to in other words instead of making like a fresh hit with the Valkyries and tackle it, another part of the base that hasn't been attacked yet you're gonna bring the Valkyries in the same path that you brought in the Queen that you brought in the, the Warden that you brought in the, the bowlers and they're gonna kind of follow the the the, the, Val, uh, the bowlers in the, in the Queen's footsteps right to the core Jump into the core and take out the core. Most people will bring a rage spell or a freeze, a rage and a freeze spell for the core, depending on how much heat they have in the, in the core. This particular attack this is a friendly challenge, just because we have, I, I believe, in this war we had this exact same base that we had to try to attack, and uh, Flex was showing how just how easy it really is. <laughs> and I've attacked this base; it's not that easy, even though it's it's three circles inside circles. And I've always I've always said that these are the simplest types of bases to attack. <laughs> Once you get up to Town Hall 11, there's so many defenses and so many things can go wrong that it's just not, not nothing's easy. It's one of my attacks here, and no, it's one of my defenses. I want and I and the reason why I wanted to show this is because it's staying in the same format. Using the, using the bowlers and the Valkyries. Now this was much more of a spammy type of attack. Where he put a whole line of bowlers in. Then he bring the Valkyries in, in right away. He's saving. It looks like he's saving about 10 miners. He's going to end up using the miners to clean up around the outside. Which is just a great use for miners. You, you know miners are also great to attack with as well. If you want to use them as the main body of your troops. But they, they, are, they do an excellent job of cleaning up all the trash buildings around the outside. Walls don't affect them at all, so if they if they end up having a, a gap, they don't have to crush through walls to get to the next uh, trash building or the next defense. They just go right under them, so that helps. And now this was this is kind of what sucks about this attack is I believe this was no 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 I remember now they set off every single trap because I have all these traps all of, now see I have both bomb towers down this bottom left hand compartment. I have the Dark Elixir down there, so I was kind of tempting him to go in that area. Although it's pretty obvious what I have going on down there. So they avoided it like the damn plague. And it looks like they are going to walk down through those last couple of giant bombs after they already took the Dark Elixir. After they've, they've pretty much taken everything. The the skeletons come out a little late. The, 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 the king goes down. The Archer Queen is still up. So this is kind of a rampage through my base. Kind of depressing but this is also uh, a titan one player and i'm barely a titan player at all 
I might I might say Titan two Titan two that's a typo over there. <laughs> so now this is what I try to do uh, on as many attacks as possible. Now you notice I start off with a clan castle. That was not intentional. That was an accident. I have to do that at least once once a raid. Do put in one kind of some something wrong. <laughs> But uh, start off with start off with the clan castle, pushing the ca the clan castle on one side and the hog riders on the other side. This is a, this is an attack. This is not in the the format of the rest of the video, but I, I really like this attack, so I wanted to kind of show it as one of the. I, I think this is one of the top attacks in Town Hall 11. I have the guys in the clan argue with me about this all the time uh, because I can't three star with it any any time in war. <laughs> but I don't try it that often in war. Uh, that's the minor bowler attack. Now that they have the nerf on the multi inferno towers you're really taking a big weapon again away from a lot of the different base defenses with the hog riders they they were they're not vulnerable to the giant bombs like they were before they don't do extra damage or anything but they only have 550 or something like that hit points to begin with so they're not huge troops anyway and then they group up together because they're going for defenses so they don't have a chance to fan out as much as other troops can and then you end up so they, so then they're going, and then people know that uh, your defense-only troops, their, your ground defense-only troops are going to go from defense to defense, so they can spring trap all the defenses, and then they end up weeding through all of your troops. Before you know it, your hog rider attack has failed, and in Town Hall 11, it's not easy to attack with with hog riders, and and I think until now, and I've been using this attack. I use this attack a lot. I can fill up five videos with three stars that I get with this attack. Granted, yes, I attack weak bases with it. Uh, you know, I ha I'm not maxed at Town Hall 11, so I'm out there going for the. I'm not going for glory. I'm going for the for the money. And you can see in this right here, it was it was a pretty good hit. It was like 500,000 each, 6,000 plus Dark Elixir. Uh, this one right here, I believe we went. Oh, this is just this another good attack for Town Hall 11. This is a very popular attack. But what I did in this attack is I took away. Uh, normally, what I'll do here is this is the the bitch slap attack, or the the bowler witch, for the Disney people. Um, normally, what I'll do is I'll put in five or six giants, or or seven giants, and then I'll put a clan castle full of giants. I, I usually use a lot of giants with this attack as well, because the giants tank so well for this attack and. You don't have to use you, you can take away a jump spell if you use giants and you can actually use a rage spell instead of jump because the giants will literally eat through a wall if they stay together uh, it's as if the wall's not even there because they, they basically in a rage they one shot the wall and then if you use your rage spell correctly and notice some more expert editing here uh, right now I think about 25% of the army is shown on the screen and I'll, I'll wake up in a minute don't worry but I, but but now I'm changing up the army composition a little bit and instead of adding all the giants I am now going back to adding hog riders which in Town Hall 9 I think everyone in our clan used hog rider we either used the a hog rider type of attack and this, this will show our age a little bit then the Valkyries got a huge buff and we kind of went away from the hog riders and went more to more to the Valkyries and then Valkyries and hog riders eventually as well and then of course you have your 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 balloon attacks in Town Hall 9 but then you get into Town Hall 10 and the hog riders were not sufficient against the, the multi or they just weren't sufficient against the, the inferno towers especially if you had them set a multi target because they trapped around them it, you yes you can use freeze spells but you have to use a freeze and a heal to get the the hog riders through the core so you have tons of spell usage just to take out an inferno tower when you can use another troop and it'll be a lot easier so but now you don't have to do that and if they have multi-level and multi infernos you just have to use the heal spell you don't have to freeze it so you save yourself on a spell that's the whole idea though the whole idea is to make it easier on people attacking to make it more fun to attack and uh i think it's just to piss me off because i watch all the attacks and i just see all these people plowing through these defenses and wham so, a little bonus footage for you. Last attack of the video. Last attack of the builder base of the year. So, how's that? Last, last, last. This is one of... We, I just had some time to kill and decided to do a live attack from, from the builder base. 
And this is another pretty cool attack. I don't see a lot, you know, I, I haven't really necessarily looked for this attack a lot, but I haven't seen a lot of it either. And this has got to be my favorite attack. I use the hero and I use uh, one camp of, of can carts. And I'm, I'm basically trying to do the same thing every time. I'm putting the hero in next to the air bombs, using the cannon carts to shoot over the walls, take out the air bombs, and then bringing in the baby dragons to take out the rest of the base. It doesn't get much easier than that as far as strategy. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the matchups. I get mat. I'm, I'm, I'm a Builder Hall 6. I haven't gone to 7 yet because I'm trying to max out, which is unusual. No one else does. But uh, I don't fight many sixes when I do a three star but I fight most of seven so oh well hope you enjoyed the video guys it's now 2018 time to come over sub to the channel we're going to we're gonna get some good numbers this year we're gonna we're, we're putting in some time some effort really hope you guys enjoy it I, I love making the videos I'm not gonna stop anytime soon unless I lose my voice or my job I don't know <laughs> so hope you, everyone has a, a safe new year and until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Just thinking of her, her long black hair, and the dreamy eyes. How they're nice. How they're nice. Just standing here 